Hello everyone, it's so great to have you all and I hope everybody is doing great today. Uh, anyone who's watching BNP TV, I, I just <laughs> want to tell you that we are happy to have you and uh, I'm so, so excited to have a brother of mine who's here. It's not his first time by the way to be in this studio and maybe I can tell him to uh, share his greetings with you. Yeah, thank you so much. Hello everyone. So my name is Elizen Sengiumba. That's my name. Ah, great. Thank you. You're welcome, brother. Thank you. Okay, I'm also with my co-host, Kelly. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm fine, thank you. All right, mm. that's so amazing. So today we'll be talking about young people. We know, like, um, we know that more than 60% of Burundians are in the youth, and many of them are jobless, or those who are not jobless, they don't have, you know, wonderful finances they are not really well off but you know we just wonder why then uh, we are asking ourselves uh, between skills and networking what matters the most so are they lacking skills are they lacking uh, networking we wonder what is preventing us from you know getting to another you know level i mean of uh, finances that's the question of the day so kelly that's the same question ladies first <laughs> you, uh, you asked me what matters the most between the most. skills uh, and a network obviously skills mm -hmm. when you have skills you can create something you can innovate you can get your own job but also nowadays it's very important to have networking that's why most of most of rich persons intelligent persons they gather together to create uh, things like uh, how do we call it? Um, hotari. Mm. It's a kind of networking. Mm. Rich people, person who have, um, I don't know, money, who are important persons, they gather together, they welcome new persons, they can share their knowledge, they can find your job. It's important, but the most important thing is to have skills. When you don't have skills, networking will not help you to find a job. Oh, thank you. Uh, truth to be told, uh, we know that, you know, in most cases in this country, when there's nobody like uh, whom, I mean, uh, to whom you can, I mean, uh, stand on the shoulders, I mean, who can support you, it's really hard for you to get higher and uh, uh, to be successful. And I, I heard even somebody, it was a small, kid saying you know it's not about what you know it's all about who you know elise what do you think about it so thank you so much so i think we are not lacking knowledge or skills we are not lacking networking but most of the time we are what i can see we are badly positioned mm -hmm. come on we are badly positioned the position in which we are it doesn't favor us more just to to reach our goals and our dreams but also, as you said, of course, yes, you know, we are living in, a, let me say, a country which is already corrupted. Mm -hmm. It is corrupted. So I think uh, many people are just doing nepotism. So if you don't have somebody maybe to help you reach somewhere, you know, it's very hard for you to get something or to get your success. So what I can say is that Burundian youth are not missing skills. Of course, yes, we are well skilled. But the only problem is that we are badly positioned. What do you mean by badly positioned? <laughs> if I say that you are badly positioned, I just want to mean, you know, a position in which we are. Mm -hmm. Everybody understands we are in Africa, Burundi, isn't it? Yeah, sure. So, and most of that is many of maybe, let me say, those respectful people, isn't it? They are somehow already corrupted. Where we find they understand favoring their family members, giving them some jobs or some opportunities. That you, as you have said, who doesn't have a person, for example, in some way, can't get. So that's the problem we have. You are skilled, but since you have no somebody maybe to take your hand or maybe to lean on, you know, it becomes very hard for you to get your success. That's what I mean, in fact. Okay, thank you. Uh, Kelly, uh, he's saying that young people in the country, they don't lack knowledge. They are really skillful. 
and do you share his viewpoint that's true mm. but the problem is this why us burundian youth we think that we have to live in this country no we can move we can go uh, we can go in other countries when you have knowledge when you have skills you can go to to search for a job in kigali in dar es salaam in the united states why not we should get that mindset burundi is a small country my god a small country but we want to stay here we are almost 13 millions it's a little country we have to 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 change our mindset and start thinking when i study i don't have to stay in this country i don't have necessary to find a job here i can i can go in tanzania when you have skills when you have knowledge you can go anywhere well I, i'm afraid we are not skillful enough i mean maybe many young people because like of course you have some few guys who are really uh, great mm. uh, with their skills but you know so many people like you can tell me you can give me some examples telling because i do believe there are so many sectors in the country that uh, should be developed and uh, maybe even when uh, even if you know we can find even though we could find a, a, a big investor coming with his money here I, I i doubt he could hardly find people employees who will be able to uh, manage and work in his you know company so as it gets mm -hmm. you know uh, like uh, what he will be looking for because uh, at the end of the day each and every company will be looking for interest then if the company wants to find the interest the benefits it will have to uh, find great workers great employees so what are maybe uh, i mean uh, skills that we do have in the country maybe you can you know uh, elaborate on that a bit yeah mm. thank you very much mr patrick what you're saying is somewhat understandable isn't it yeah, sure. but when you say that we are not somewhere we are not skilled enough so the mistake is not for the youth the mistake is not on us i immediately blame the education because normally we burundian people we are expecting skills and knowledge from school isn't it but the problem is that we are having schools but with no education that's the problem so for example what you are saying that investors come for example they just planning of launching their big big project in burundi they look for people to help them so that they can make it uh, just in in actions they miss the problem is this one they are missing those those guys because even those ones who are believed to have studied about the issue are not well formed that's the problem which is leading people to a problem that when is given for example a certain capital just to be using so after three or five years the company goes bankrupt you know that's the problem we have here but i think also we should not forget because most of the time the development of the country the development of the youth is the government also is involved of the country so whenever the government or the country is not caring much about the education from the early age it's very hard for me as a youth and somebody else to be a great person and a skilled person in the future uh, well now we <laughs> shift to education you see now we understand that we might not be having enough skills might be not having enough knowledge we That's must true. not be uh, uh, you know well skilled so now we gonna maybe talk about education a bit so do you think there are some of the the, the the skills that you know we should be applying in our education what are they if they are he's totally right mm. you know when you want a country to be developed that's how chinese did they invested in education system they sent youth in the united states of america in the uk to study technology they studied they studied and they told them come back in the country or stay there work for americans and sometimes steal some uh, information from them here in burundi education they do not invest enough in education and we studied theories only have you noticed that <laughs> we used to 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 study chemistry in in books but 
That's not how they study chemistry in other countries. They have lab Come on, appel. Laboratory. laboratories to study chemistry. They should repenser, c'est comment? To rethink. They should rethink our educational system, really. They should invest in youth if this country wants to be developed one, one day. Because he, he, he mentioned um, that we, we lack some, um, I don't know if, if it's skills or this idea, ideas mm -hmm. or something like that. Burundians, they, they copy each other. When you start a business, Patrick has started something and he's getting money. I will start the very same thing. We don't, maybe we don't have enough skills, maybe we didn't study enough, we studied theories only. I don't know, there's something that's lack, that really lacks in our educational system. And I think if you want your country to be developed, you should invest in education. Uh, well, thank you for the input. And uh, I, I, I can see that will take, you know, some while, I mean, some time, so let's maybe get there, I mean, and you talked about you know skills coming the most and you now for now for now mm. what should we be looking for as young people should we be looking for skills or should we be looking for people <laughs> whom we know or <laughs> what do you think is 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 skills better than networking yeah thank you a very good question so you no know, i think of course yes no you know when we say networking, we understand socialization. That's the original and the main meaning of the word networking, isn't it? Sure. But the problem is that the youth are most of the time based on networking instead of skills. That's a problem. Networking with people, there is no any bad with that, isn't it? But make sure you are networking yourself with people who can help you, maybe with what you know, with what, in what you are skilled, isn't it? That's what I understand. Because many guys here, they have taken network as nepotism. Mm. Someone is unable to do anything, you know, he can't do anything, but since he has got maybe his uncle, his what, with someone, maybe he's going to help him doing something. But I should give a wake up call to every Burundian youth to not focus on networking most of the time when it comes to building the future, to building a country. They should be focusing on the skills so they can be well skilled. If you are well skilled, the playground for you is very big. Mm -hmm. You can work wherever from wherever around the world. But if you're not skilled, you are only network. You will only be working in one corner. And when the corner is already broken, your life is in danger. So that's what I could say, in fact. So uh, uh, thank you for you guys. I, I, I can see you, you share you know, the same uh, viewpoints. It's all about skills. But I'm asking mm -hmm. about now, now in the country, because we, we always see that. Many people you say, you don't, need have, you don't have to work what you learned at school. You, you don't have to follow in your domain. We are, we are talking about the truth. There's truth to be told. <laughs> so, I just yeah. remember someone uh, saying, course. when you study math, <laughs> <laughs> does it help you to get... <laughs> hold on, hold on, please. <laughs> you see, you see, because, you know, people are hired. In, in given companies, and, and, and when they get there, it's when they learn what they do. It's just have to go there, and then you start learning. And they say, any job will be, you know, available be, for we, me. You see, mm. it, it will never be hard for you. It will never be impossible for you to carry it out. Because you just have to be there, and you learn after the work. So, don't you think, because it's all about, you know, knowing people who can support you. I, I, I start with the maybe with that introduction saying, you know, it's about knowing the shoulders where we can stand on. Yeah, that's not, that's not a problem. But you know what is causing that? For example, you studied about math, but I find you tomorrow doing something which is not even relevant to your domain. The reason is that we are tired and we are already confused. <laughs> so now we are ready to do everything that's possible and available for us, we do it. It's all about getting money. And when you already focus on that, to have that ideology, you have already failed. Because yeah. the domain you have followed for 20 years, from primary to university, 20 years, you keep it somewhere, maybe in the trunk, you start another domain, which is going to take you maybe to life, then that, that's going to help you. So it means 
the skills the country has been expecting from you, from what you have studied from primary to university, you have already dropped it out somewhere, so you are learning with a new domain, which is rendering many youths to not be too much committed and focused on what they have done, they have did at school. That's what I can say. Well, thank you. Uh, however, I still have some confusion here hmm. because, like, how can you, you know, you, you know, always expect to use what you learned, whereas you don't find, you know, whereby you can apply the place whereby you can use what you learned. So I wonder whether you can still live without getting something that can help you in your life, something that will enable you to continue with your life. Because, you know, you, you finish your studies, uh, you want to find a job, you want to find whereby you, maybe a, a house to rent, you, can, you want to find what to eat, you want to marry, maybe, who knows. And then you're telling me you will have to wait until you find a place whereby you can, you can use your your, your skills, I mean, what you got from, from your, 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 um, maybe your university or your, your studies. Kelly, mm -hmm. are you going to be able to be patient enough and wait for your time to start? Or do you, you think it's better getting anywhere and start working? Patrick, do you know, it's not all about something to put in the belly only. Yes, come on. Please, <laughs> I would like to tell the youth but put yourself in the shoes of I, everyone. I will. Don't I will. All right, come Surely, on. Okay, I will. Come on. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, sometimes you put aside even your dignity mm -hmm. to get something to eat. But here in Burundi, we, uh, we used to, to say that, uh, I'm sorry. Mm. Some people, they would be able to do anything to get money. But it's not all about money only, please. Mm. You can wait or you can be the best you can. The, the, the high school where I studied, they used to tell us, be the best you can. Be the best you can and you will find something irreplaceable, mm -hmm. really. Yes, you can be irreplaceable. In countries like uh, South Korea, Japan, they have what we call um, excellence. Mm -hmm. they, they teach the, chi the children, the, the, the little children, to grow up knowing that you have to be the best you can be. But here in Burundi, the problem we have is this. You study for studying. Only your parents told you, you have to get a, a college degree, a university degree. I'm sorry, you are going to study just to study. You don't, you don't um, get enough skills. That's, that's why we lack jobs not only here in Burundi, and you start by saying, oh, I have my uncle in the, in the bank, I will go there, I will, or I have someone who, who is a... a like a, a, a trader. A trader. Mm. You have studied, but you ended up by becoming a trader because you didn't get enough skills. But when you have studied, really studied for studying, to get a job, you will get, or you will go in other countries to find but because I told you, Burundi is too small. You can go away. So I would like to advise, please uh, give me the room to advise young people. Study for really studying. Study for becoming the best you can become. Not only to get a job. When you have, you have really studied, I'm, I can assure you, you, you will get a job in a way or another. I don't know. But don't, don't end up becoming... I don't know, taking something that they, they give you for, it's because you are not enough skilled. I don't know. Well, uh, thank you for the input. Mm. And uh, I still, you know, have some first. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. It's like, of course, you know, we, 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 some people study for being excellent as much as they can. But at the end of the day, they, they, don't, they even have their master degrees, but they don't find what to do? They miss jobs sometimes. Yeah, no, because we, we were just limited for this country. You can trust me. Of course. Mm -hmm. Somet sometimes it's even hard to go, like, uh, yes, to, to, to go, you know, like when they leave this country, mm -hmm. it's even hard for them to find where pla new places, maybe new countries to fit in. And when they go there, don't you think? Because I can see somehow, somewhat looking down on networking. Don't you think when they live here, once they 
have left their countries, they will be also needing some people to support them, some people who are well positioned, so as they maybe they give them a hand. Yeah, you know, of course, yes, you are right, because we are leaving, everybody's thinking of leaving the country, isn't it? Because I can see even the old men and old women nowadays are dreaming of flying from Burundi to other countries. And you are saying wherever they are going, they will have to need somebody to help them. You are right. But the problem is that, you know, when someone is shocked for a long time, he sometimes takes some strange and funny decisions in life, which may be what the psychology call trauma or something else, but you don't know that you are suffering from that, you know, because how can you tell me, for example, not man of 60 or 50, 50 years, women of maybe flying to Canada, you know, it's somehow funny. That's because maybe life here has become very hard and you're already confused. But as I said, in everyday life, we need someone to help us. But what I'm insisting on is this one. We should not take networking as a favor of corrupting. We should be taking networking as a favor and a bridge to help us to reach to where we want to reach, but on basis of knowledge and skills you have. Don't be looking for people to network you whereas you know nothing. No, that's not true, sure. and that's not right. So you have to make sure I'm good at this. So since I'm good at this, I just, look, I just want to look for people who are in my domain to help me reach my goal. Otherwise, I'm telling you, you know, more the years keep going on, things will become worse and worse every day. Yeah. Well, I, I really like, you know, that point uh, where saying we should not, you know, network in whichever way uh, comes, uh, you know, around. So, which means we, we better be uh, very careful and be very uh, uh, wary so as we don't like uh, network just <laughs> for corrupting because yeah, we yeah, should sure. not take it as a, as a favor to corrupt others. So Kelly, uh, you talked about skills. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think we young people in the country uh, lack in those skills? The skills. You, you've been trying to advise young people to study hard. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you can see there are maybe some you know, domains that are well not well, well explored, are not well you know, undertaken whereby young people should uh, engage themselves and maybe uh, find, find richness because you, you, it's not all about money, but at the end of the day, we, we also need to, <laughs> to live a Let better life. Let me add something before. Yeah, come on. You know that uh, many rich persons in the States, they are what we call self-made men. Hmm. They didn't need any network. They created things because they had for brain. example, they, well, how do we call him? Uh, Facebook. Yeah, do, do, do you know he's, he he was born with the with the silver spoon in his mouth? So <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> maybe he really? said he had money. Oh, that's of course, true. that's why you should. But like, from that's why that's why that's why I told you yeah. you put yourself in the shoes of everyone. I mean, you know, as a yeah, as a young people from, mm. from the remote places. I've, I've okay, heard yeah, the, the, the poorest, the youth. poorest youth. Of the poorest. No, no, no. I've heard many. Even the one who created Tesla. What, what's his name? Ah, uh, yes, Elon of course, Musk. Is Elon Musk, the yeah. richest Elon guy in the Twitter, world. Uh, X. Yes, X, of course. Yeah, Appropriate. that's for Elon Musk. Or him also. He's a self-made man. When you have your brain, you can go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Anywhere around the world. So study. Study knowing that Burundi is a small country. Stad study thinking that you are going to move in the U.S. to get a job. Study. Study. Become the best you can. Yeah. But, but you know the problem, Mr. Patrick? Yeah, come on. The problem is that we are growing up in a country where we don't believe too much in knowledge and skills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Yeah. We are believing maybe in some political power. I don't mm -hmm. know, someone. We even Normally believe we are that busy, you know? when you are rich, it's because you have only money. To get here in Burundi to be considered, you have to have money. But you know, in in rich in rich countries like the United States, when you are a very intelligent person, you are more considered than the person who have money. Didn't you know that? We have to be to have um, like culture de l'excellence. 
I don't know how sure. to call it. Sure, come on. Mm. Yeah. So I was Just, saying this. Uh, okay, come on. So, for example, let's take that youth from Gitega who had maybe created a radio line. Mm. Maybe I have heard and I have seen the man on, on TV. Mm. So a man was taken. No, now he's, he's no longer in Burundi. Yeah, he's already see. gone. No, he's still here. You mean who? No, 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 no. He has already gone. Kasapi? No, no, not, not, not Kasapi. There is somebody else, not Kasapi, apart from that mm. one. There is another one from Gitega who, who created a line, a radio line for, for some neighbors, you know. Mm. So people were astonished to say, hey, how has this man made this? Then after discovering this, uh, some guys told me that the man is already now in China. So maybe on the name of studying. Mm. And I'm, I'm very afraid if this person will be back here. <laughs> That's the problem we have. We are not valuing too much knowledge and skills. Yeah. We are not investing in youth and children to be skilled. We are only showing them like, me, for example, I'm your father. That networking is being misused. I'm your father. Since I'm rich and I can help you to reach somewhere, do whatever you want. But after school, I will take you. Mm. you will the network that should be used in a good way of helping people to boost their skills and knowledge is, so we are using it as corruption. That's the problem. So this will be a very big problem for us if we don't change. We understand that networking is there, people with same domains to help one another. How many times have you heard, for example, people who study the economy in Burundi gather together to create or to invent or maybe to discover something new in the economy? It doesn't exist. Journalists, you only meet simply when you are working. When you want to. You don't, you don't have idea. time maybe to gather as maybe journalists, sit somewhere, let's innovate. Mm. So you can be innovative. But the problem is that we are working on basis of maybe the archaic ideologies, you know what? That's a problem I see we have there. Ah, thank you guys. Well, I learned a lot. I hope anybody who's watching BNP TV also got something from this standpoint. And uh, I do believe we, we are maybe, uh, they always tell young people are maybe the future leaders. Yeah, I should <laughs> tell you that. Don't you, doubt. You, you lead us from today because you lead your life. She leads her life. Yeah. So we better start, you know, influencing others from now on yeah. and better be the change we want to see. So see you, stay connected. I wanna, sorry, excuse me a bit. I wanna thank Brother Elise for his, you know, time and his um, inputs in this show it was so amazing. Thank yeah, you, brother. thank you very much. I thank you too. Okay, I want to also thank my co-host Kelly, it was so great to be with you again. Thank you. I want to also thank my viewers and our viewers, sorry, uh, this is BNP TV, stay connected with us, hope you'll be learning a lot as you'll be continuing to watch this TV.